This morning, Democrats are decrying inhumane and toxic conditions at detention centers in Texas. A group of lawmakers toured two different border facilities and say they heard firsthand accounts from migrants about sleeping on concrete floors and rooms without running water. ABC's Mona Kosar Abdi has the latest. This morning, Democrats painting a haunting picture of two border facilities housing migrants in Texas. Representative Joaquin Castro sharing this video captured inside the El Paso Center. The congressman says the woman seen here who consented to being recorded have been sharing a cramped cell, some for months, and have been denied showers and life-saving medicine. Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, who was among the group of Democrats who toured the facilities, tweeting, women are being kept in cells without water and told to drink out of toilets. Ocasio-Cortez also recounted tense interactions with Border Patrol agents. In that last facility, I was not safe from the officers in that facility. Meantime, Texas Senator Ted Cruz, who toured the Rio Grande processing facility, weighed in on the crisis. This is a man-made crisis. The responsibility for this crisis lies directly on the United States Congress. This as the fallout continues from a secret Facebook page uncovered by ProPublica with vulgar and threatening posts allegedly made by agents about members of Congress. Some of the posts joking about migrant deaths. That was a vulgar, disgusting, and vile page. Customs and Border Protection saying it's investigating the page. The Border Patrol's chief of operations also addressing the situation on CNN. Don't let the actions of a few um, be representative of the whole is what I would ask. Overnight, President Trump defended Border Patrol agents, calling them patriots. And President Trump is threatening to conduct massive deportation raids unless Democrats change asylum laws, which is unlikely to happen before Congress leaves for the 4th of July recess. Monaco Sarabdi, ABC News, Washington.